What is going on guys, Mills here, bringing you some fire content on the Fire Day 18 channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be recapping my whole entire 2018. So, this was a year where I did not expect to grow. I didn't expect that I would grow as fast as I did. Obviously, we did not hit 1k subs, but hey, it was a pretty impressive run that we did in 2018. And I had a lot of fun, I think, just going along with it. You know, it was a... I had a great time, met new people, you know, like, just, also, just, like, in general, like, I had a very fun time, like, I also got to learn a little bit even more about the MLB The Show community than what I did learn in 2017, so, overall, I'd say 2018 was a big success, streaming-wise, we were able to improve our streams over time, this is actually a game from, like, January 3rd of 2018 at the start, when I got my first solo dub, as you guys almost tell, it's a top three, I was trying to do the best I could in season two Fortnite, but as you guys know, I was a bit, was still a bit of a noob then, but I still, still managed to pull it off here. But yeah, it was a pretty, pretty exciting 2018, I must say. Playing both Fortnite and MLB as my main games, but also adding in some Detroit and Spider Man in there. Those were, I think, a couple games that I think people did enjoy on the channel. I might consider doing future stuff like that where I do play other games, so to say, like. Heck, maybe I'll move to 2K19, who knows, maybe I'll try it having a 2K19 bit on there, you never know, but it was a pretty exciting year overall, very much enjoyed it, also met some new content creators along the way who I'd eventually become great friends with, so that was definitely a lot of fun too. I also learned a little bit more about streaming as well, like, I learned how, how you manage a stream just in general, like, how you're able to kind of, like, carry it, what I mean by that is, like, have, like, that type of, like, like kind of like charisma to like keep people in the stream and all that and just in general it was a great year so far i i personally enjoyed it and also i just had a you know it was like i i was generally not the best at making videos i was too lazy to even make a video at the start of 2018 mostly because like well i just didn't really like the process of doing it more or less like i didn't i couldn't really find much enjoyment to it i just didn't really have a fun time doing it but now i've been able to find the fun parts of it find the enjoy the little things about it and yeah it still takes a long time to process and upload the video but hey at least the journey is still a lot of fun editing the video all i gotta say there all right so i'm gonna show like one of one of my more recent streams what they usually look like now and compare that to the last one well we've come a long way right like the amount of success we had in 2018 was a lot more than i had on the past few years I was running my channel. Like I never really made quality videos. I actually focused on an entirely different thing away from video games. Although I would occasionally have the Minecraft video. I was never really a video game content creator. I was never really doing it because I never thought I would have the endurance to really well be able to continue consistently like make videos. And I didn't really expect expect myself to really even stream a lot too. But when I kind of learned about it, I was like I, I got pretty interested. I thought it was pretty cool how you could show people, like, like obviously you're showing people what you're playing, but you're also being able to converse with others about the game you're playing as well, so it allows you to have a very fun experience. Like, like when you're recording, you're obviously, you can't obviously communicate with your viewers right away. You're kind of just commentating on, like, the game you're playing, which is still fun, but... And both have their own advantages. Both videos and streaming have their own advantage. But I never expected myself to really be able to do both at the same time and now that i've managed to gain that all of that endurance and all that and just have overall just managed to finally be able to actually have a bit of success as a content creator then i've had more motivation i mean i feel like in general this is something that i feel like i do not regret doing it was definitely something i had a lot of fun doing and i i obviously also want to help out others who are also trying to start out content creating whether it's for mlb the show or even Fortnite, which is a very saturated game. I could, I'll still try to give the best tips I can to even help them grow. Like, obviously, you gotta have that distinction, but you could still sometimes just have a fun time just playing the game. And if people see that you're having fun, then they'll have fun too. And I mean, just overall, like just playing all the show over the course of the year, I managed to actually get better at the game too. And I think that's made the content also much as more fun, or just as fun as just the stream okay so here we have actually my first ever duo win right here didn't actually complete yet but 
the reason why I'm showing this clip is because this was, I feel like, just a fun, this was just a very fun game I had with a fun, with a fun little friend. Not exactly little though, he's way taller than me IRL, but point is that this was actually my first ever duo dub, in, and this was also on the same day that I got my first solo, crazy to say, like if you guys were on that stream, shout out to you, but I had my first sol solo, I think like two games before this one, so it was a pretty crazy moment that I also got my first duo in the same game as well, and this, I, I would say this, this game in general, this one I'd say was the one that really started my friendship with this particular person named Carter. So he was someone who I'd say was definitely a very, very helpful figure, I think, just in general in 2018, because he, he gave me some very helpful tips for my channel. And honestly, ever since we both helped each other out, we both have had channels that have managed to thrive and grow, and just, we've also been able to make some fire content, so to say. Like, this was also when I wasn't fired at 18. Like, I don't think I became fired at 18, like, at the start of January, too, crazy to think about. I think I was still Mills was or something but it was a it was a pretty crazy growth i think that this friendship had and i feel like this was this game in particular was the one that really like signaled this that there was gonna be a long friendship going between me and him and also just the fact that we got a first duo double too like on this on that same day i mean like it's pretty awesome and i mean it just also goes to show that like you can easily like even like the the the, for the person that you if you play uh fortnite duos with this person for the first time or something or you play them or you f or you first play them in a game at mlb you never know that that person may be someone who will support you for a long time or will eventually if they ever get inspired to or ever wanted to maybe they'll become a content creator and maybe they'll you know they'll help you out a lot in the long run morally so yeah, I feel like this game was this game was really the signal that, and also just in general how my 2018 went. So, yeah, that is all for the video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you haven't yet, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to this channel. If you want more content like this, please tell me. I will make more of these types of videos, and I'll see y'all in the next vid or stream, everyone. Peace.